We've uh, we won four out of our last five games, so I'm pleased about that. I think we're playing some pretty good basketball when uh, uh, we need to be playing some pretty good basketball. I think uh, that's very, very important. Uh, I could I, uh, you know, kind of see this coming where uh, we uh, started to uh, develop some consistency in our, in our, in our performance. Um, could start seeing that about a, a month or so ago, and uh, I thought we'd get on a, a, a little run, and, and that's kind of where we're at right now. We just got to keep it going. But just to refresh uh, and bring some people up to date, um, we uh, uh, a couple weeks ago we had a, a dramatic victory against uh, Park Hills, a whiteout night, uh, coaches versus cancer night. Uh, one of the highlights to our season um, was uh, just a great crowd, awesome, uh, Coakley crazy. A uh, bunch uh, getting after it in, uh, in their whiteout game and uh, back and forth against a really, really good team, Park Hill, uh, and um, came down to uh, a shot down by one. Uh, Kyle Rutliff had a nice look, didn't tip it, uh, didn't go in, and Ben Hansen was in the right place at the right time to, uh, to tip it in uh, as the buzzer was going off. So uh, dramatic finish, uh, very exciting. What was crazy about that, we get a one-point win. Uh, we we chart six offensive goals. Uh, we chart six offensive um, stats. Uh, we ha and we have uh, those stats. We have six goals uh, that we try to meet offensively. We didn't we didn't meet a single goal <laughs> offensively that game, but we come we'll get come away with the win. Uh, and that that performance right there kind of sums up just our team motto this year: find a way, find a way to win. And I thought uh, our players, especially Ben Hansen, did that. And then uh, that Friday, uh, same week, that Friday we go down to Lee Summit, a team that uh, uh, spanked us pretty good here at Coakley uh, early in the year, um, about an 18-19 point loss. Uh, they hit a ton of threes uh, and just, uh, just got after us pretty good. Uh, we went down to their place and we beat them by 15, uh, held them to 12 first half points. We shot the ball really well. We hit 58% uh, of our shots. Uh, did a really nice job defensively too, uh, so we get a little revenge on those guys who are leading our conference. Um, then we got uh, we got snowed out last Tuesday against Blue Springs South. That game was moved to Thursday. Uh, we went down to uh, Blue Springs uh, South, lost by 11. Uh, didn't play particularly well, uh, especially defensively. Uh, they're a hard team because they've got bigs, they've got shooters, they got a, a guy that can get to the hole on versus a double team. Uh, we didn't really have an answer for him defensively and ended up losing by 11. We didn't play that bad offensively, uh, but lost by 11. And then uh, um, then uh, came back and uh, the next night and beat uh, Blue Springs in a nice game, court warming game uh, last Friday night. Pretty well balanced, played a really uh, solid second half. So we're pleased with where we're at. Uh, with where we're going, I should say, uh, there's still room for improvement. Uh, we've got to have a great week this week and, uh, and keep this thing going. So we're excited uh, about the month of February and what uh, uh, the rest of the season holds, and especially playoffs. So I'll open it this time for questions. Yes, there. At this point of the season, are you about where you thought you'd be? Uh, well, about where we thought we'd be. Uh, yes and no. I, you know, I think that. Uh, 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 you know, we set we set a goal to be a conference champs. I thought we'd be in the conference race. We're not in the conference race, uh, and that's disappointing. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, I thought uh, uh, we'd have a little bit more success uh, in the conference. Um, have a maybe a tournament win or two, something like that. Uh, we have not met those goals. Uh, but with where we're at right now, how we're playing, uh, how we're gelling. Uh, how we're playing some our better basketball when it means the most? Yes, I expected that um, because of the leadership that we have on our team, the experience that we have. Uh, guys have been through it. Uh, I, I do. Ex yeah, I expected to be, you know, have it have a streak where we've won four out of five and and have a chance to extend that even this week. So um, we, uh, yeah, I do expect, uh, did expect to be where we're at. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, I think uh, you know we definitely have an opportunity to peak at the right time. Is this the right time? Uh, no, because we still have two weeks left in the regular season. 
Uh, so we don't want to, you know, we, we don't want to uh, get there quite yet. Okay. Do we want to continue to prove and, and play better basketball every game? Uh, play better basketball at each practice? Uh, yes, no doubt. Uh, practice, was going back through, uh, practice plans. Uh, it had been since January 27th uh, since we really had a practice, <laughs> uh, since yesterday. And so guys practiced well yesterday uh, in preparation for Wednesday against Columbia Hickman. We'll talk about them in a little bit. But, um, you know, we, uh, uh, we just got to get a little bit better every day, and I can definitely see that happening. So we're excited about where we're at and, and more importantly, where, where we can go. Yes. What things are you going to have to change so that you can go deep in that district round? Well, that's uh, that's all important. You know, what do we need to change uh, to to get, make a, a deep playoff run? Um, you got to be consistent, uh, and we're starting to develop that consistency. You've heard me talk during the season that uh, consistency hasn't been one of our our strong traits characteristics this season. Uh, we're starting to develop that. Um, and putting a, a, you know uh, solid runs together within the game, putting solid games together, uh, things like that. Uh, so that's that's one thing. You've got to play solid, consistent basketball. Uh, the uh, two things really, you ha you have to have tremendous, tremendous pride and tremendous effort on the defensive end to make a a, a, a run in the playoffs, and you also have to. Uh, you know, just play smart, intelligent basketball and, uh, and make some shots. And we're starting to do that. Over the past uh, few games, we've shot 54%, 49%, 58%, 45%, 49% from the field. You know, we'll take those. Those are, those are acceptable percentages, field goal percentages. And so I like, I like where we're at offensively. We're taking better shots, uh, more, more uh, interior-based. Uh, Denton's doing a nice job around the basket, uh, and, our, and our guards are are, uh, are are doing well from the perimeter. So, uh, all in all, um, that's what you've got to do. You got to have some some smart offense. You got to have some really tough defense, and, and be consistent throughout the whole process. Yes, Tom. Uh, I saw some tweets uh, about the Super Bowl predictions. Yeah, yeah, so go yeah. We yeah, uh, we. We had uh, we had practice Sunday and uh, we just had a little prediction. Uh, we had a little prediction contest. Who do you want to win? Give me the score. And uh, the uh, the guy that came in the closest uh, got a week supply of IXL. You want to know what IXL is? IXL is a new sports drink. It's supposedly better than Gatorade, so we'll see. So they got a week supply. Malcolm, would you agree with that? Do you like it? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, we just we just kind of tweeted out who was in the lead, and uh, we had a freshman come on strong at the end and uh, and win the contest. So that's what that's what all those tweets were about. Fun question, though. Yes. What are you doing to get ready for your game on Wednesday? Uh, well, we had a great practice last night. Like I said, it was our first kind of official practice since. Uh, January 27th, which is crazy with the weather and, and things like that. Um, uh, but uh, we had a great practice uh, last night, uh, and uh, we'll have another another one today. Today will be shorter. Uh, we went two hours plus yesterday, and uh, it'll be a little bit shorter today. But um, you know, just putting in some different wrinkles uh, offensively and defensively. Um, you 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 got it. You got to uh, have the guys uh, staying alert and and always absorbing and, and getting uh, new information. So uh, whether that's on the offensive end or defensive end, um, they keep them fresh uh, and keep them focused on on, on why they're there. Uh, but uh, Columbia Hickman on Wednesday is going to pose some some serious challenges. They've got a really good player and and. Um, uh, have, have had some success here of late uh, in, in, uh, in, in a few of their games and we saw them at Jewel a lot and, and they took Rockers to double overtime uh, played, played them really really tough so they're going to be a, a good challenge for us but uh, um, you know we uh, this is a big big week for us even though it's not it's a non-conference week we play Columbia Hickman on Wednesday we play St. Joe Central on Friday it's our senior night two non-con games um, that they're real important to our 
uh, to our season and where we're at because we've got